Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin, and we are talking about collision margin with our physics object. And if you don't have a physics object yet, select your object, go to your physics tab, and then choose rigid body. And then scroll down, and we are under sensitivity where it says collision margin. Um, now, this might not say collision margin depending on what you have selected here as your shape. Um, it, that might not be here. You might just have a margin, but uh, that is what we were talking about. Uh, today and so the collision margin is if you can see our this is what we have so far as our uh, physics simulation so something that looks like this so in its resting spot here if I go into front mode let's turn on our overlays you can see um, that I don't actually have any sort of margin there and that's because um, our plane is set to uh, convex hull. If I change this to mesh, then uh, you can't uncheck collision margin. It automatically puts this in there for you. But I'm going to go ahead and change that back to convex hull and then just check this collision margin and then let's s simulate our physics again. All right. And now going to front mode, you can see, oh, that actually isn't touching the ground. So let's go and do that again. And you can see that it is not touching the ground. It is actually 1.575 inches up from the ground, which is why it looks like it's hovering over there. So each physics object has this option. So we're going to choose that as well. And let's do that. And the reason you might want to use uh, this margin here is because of any sort of problems or jitters or glitches that you might have with your physics. So for example, if you can see here with the, what we have set now, if I simulate that, you can see you, can have, you have this little jittering here. So you might just want to mess around with the margin. I'm going to uncheck the margin from the active object and just focus on the floor. So I'm going to bring this down to 0 0.02, say here like this. And just go back into this here. All right, so yeah, so you can see something like that. So what you want to do is kind of get as close as you can without having any problems. So I'm point zero two i n for inches, and that is pretty close. And you can see that's kind of going through the bottom there. Uh, I'm going to do point zero five i n. Try that. Now let's back up a little bit more and center that. Okay, so yeah, that see how that's a lot more stable now. Um, so it's not um, kind of going through the floor. Now initially it looks like it is going through the floor. So you can see once it bounces on the floor the first time, that first bounce goes through the floor. I don't actually know how to change that. So if anybody has any tips to know how to change that, that would be great. But uh, for the most part, um, you can't really see it because it goes really fast and um, it settles really nicely. So you're just going to have to play with the collision margin um, to get a good result. Again, you'll probably need to adjust both of them uh, to see what combination of results work the best. But I was actually getting pretty decent results with the uh, not having either of them checked. So... I'm going to uncheck that one, and I really like this already right here. Now that, well, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to change my mind because see how that was a little, little bit jittery. It looks like it's still a little bit jittery. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to change that. So I'm going to change. I'm going to check that, and we're going to leave that at 0 0.05 inches. And that seems to settle really nicely without that jittering afterwards. Well, okay, take that back. <laughs> it is, there is a little bit of jittering there too. So again, just play with it. Uh, maybe 0 0.06, maybe. Oh, I forgot to put inches. So 0 0.06, not 0 0.06 feet, 0 0.06 inches. I have, there we go. Okay. Point one inches. Is... 
And sometimes I've found if you select collision margin and just choose zero, then that actually can work too. In this case, it's not really working the way I want it. Uh, 0.2 inches. Okay, that's a little too high. 0.1 inches. Well, maybe, again, it's just all trial and error. And there are other things that you can do to uh, fix that jitter, which I will go in over in another video. But that is kind of what the collision margin is and how it works. So uh, stay tuned and we will go over some more settings in future videos.